Hey Earthlings! Welcome back! Many people join our channel because we talk a lot about community. We ourselves have been living in community since 2017 and it's one of our passion. So we want to share with you about the biggest mistake that people make when they are looking for a community to live in. And we are speaking both from the perspective of having joined other communities for a short period of time or from having initiated a community experience. Oftentimes when people join a community they have a lot of expectations in mm -hmm. terms of what community life should be like and we are looking for the perfect thing like mm -hmm. something that is already complete with everything that we imagine a community should be like. So we've faced expectations such as there should be regular meetings and sharing circles and it's expected that someone else is providing that framework. Or we should eat three meals a day together as a community, otherwise it's not a healthy community. Or we should always be ready, readily available to hold space for each other when someone needs support. Or we should share our economically openly and have anybody, even if they don't have any money or any mean to support themselves financially. And of course, it's very healthy to know what you need in living situation, whether it's a shared flat or a community or relationship. But when it becomes so strict that you must have this thing, it can block you actually from creating what you actually there for. We ourselves actually joined a community where they didn't have sharing circles. And this is something that we do in our life, we do in our relationship. And we're really grateful to know what's happening in the other human on a deeper level, emotional level spiritual level. So we visit one of the community that we like the most, but they didn't have sharing circles. And we thought like, okay, let's do a cacao ceremony and sharing circle. And we did that. And it was so beautiful. People f dropped so deep in their heart. There was a deep sharing. So what I want to share in this example is when there's something missing in a community, that might be our calling. That might be our part, what we can bring to create something better in this space. So most of us humans, when we grow up in cities and the modern society, we grow up to be consumers. Mm -hmm. We are used to paying for things and expecting things to be provided for us the way Delivered. we want it. Yeah. As if the world is created ready for us and we weren't part of that as, as co-creators. And community is all about it being a space that is co-created by each member. It mm -hmm. is not something that a few people provide and then you get to consume. And I think many of us, we bring this consumerist mentality with us when we go to communities and then mm -hmm. we may judge and be like oh they're not good they are this they're okay but what can you give mm -hmm. how can you yeah. put your fingerprints into this space into yeah. this co-creative space so communities are an invitation for all of us for co -creation. to step into being a creator instead of someone who consumes and then complains when things don't meet our expectations to see where we fit to get mm -hmm. to experience, oh, there is a gap. Can I feel that gap? If I have yeah. a desire and that thing isn't there, maybe it's maybe I'm meant to fill that gap. Mm -hmm. How beautiful is that? And we yeah. get to therefore discover our skills and perhaps our calling as well. Yeah. And in case that there is no openness for your gifts and for your contribution, then you can think, oh, this community is not matching. But I, I see this mistake many times, like people go from the Western modern lifestyle to a community and they complain about so many things. And what actually is missing is what they can create, what they can contribute with. And from our experience, many communities that we visited, they were very open for any suggestion that we brought as long as coming from humbleness and really caring and wanting to give rather than criticize the community or make them look bad or like, yeah. So our experience with many community founders that they were very open for our contribution and uh, they were very welcoming. And we do the same as well when people come to our community space in Portugal, we, op we are open for co-creation, we are open for new ideas and so on. And by the way, if you're graving for a conscious, beautiful community experience, come visit us in Portugal. We have many events happening there, sharing circles, singing circles, retreats, events. So uh, if you are interested to join us in person, come see us. We will be in Berlin, Finland, Portugal. And uh, you can also join us online to tune to our energy and the healing that we can offer you to help you uh, make positive changes in your life. So all the information you can find on our website in the comment and in the description section.
like it's a tricky space to be in to be the space holder for a community vision because mm-hmm. people come with a lot of expectations towards you yeah. as if you're supposed to be the one providing everything but that's not what a community is yeah right. you know it's it's people who have stepped into some level of being sovereign being saying knowing what they want being able to be self responsible mm-hmm. creating a life together and this is also why most communities they actually ask sometimes quite high fees for visitors mm-hmm. because they've realized rightfully that most people come to take mm-hmm. most people don't come to equally share responsibility and when that is the case often times the attitude changes and yeah. those people are very much welcomed with a totally different kind of agreement, agreement. yeah and uh, we have made a video about why community fail check it out uh, it's going to be in, in this or this corner and we have many videos about community how we live in a community how we relate to each other we have videos about relationships so join our channel to see more like this content 